only. And this is coming to us from Ms. Moo's, a beloved brand here at the Q. Oh, look how cute these are. Okay, so when I saw that we had a today's special value from Ms. Moo's, you know I jumped for joy because I am the biggest Ms. Moo's stan of all time. And you are too, which is why we get so excited when we could bring you a shoe that really transitions you perfectly from right now, winter, into spring, into summer, and beyond. But it has all the Ms. Moo's DNA that we depend on, that we count on, that we live for, like the European source leathers, that uh, beautiful vintage -y kind of look, the buttery softness to these leathers, that lived-in feel, and then all these styles, there are the colors, the styles <laughs> that we love for. Okay, so let me take everyone through uh, your colors first. Here we go. We have them in the black, which is what I'm wearing. It's been very, very popular. You're looking at them right now in the aloe, which is one of the new colors. Then we're gonna go from the black, here we are, to the brick. This is also one of the new colors. Next up, we have it in linen. Here is the river. And then we have it in the brandy, which I have over on the table, which at the table as well. We have our friend Christy Turner, who Hi. I haven't seen in a while. It's so nice so to, good see to see you. you. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Thank Day. You. This is so exciting. Ms. Moose is just such a beloved brand. Um, you know what? I'll leave it to you to tell the brand story. Father Son Company out of Lower Manhattan. Um, honestly, they had offices in Europe and they knew they had access to these gorgeous, ethically sourced leathers out of Europe. And they said, you know what? We can bring women who tend to in New York City where they're their functional shoes to where mm -hmm. they're going, change into their fashion shoes when they get there, and they said, we can do so much better right. than that. So they brought these gorgeous leathers, designed them in such a unique way with artisan craftsmanship, all these fine details, and then they made them infinitely wearable. They wanted you to be able to take them out of the box, put them on your feet, yes. not have to think about them, have them be comfortable, wear them all day, and keep them in your footwear wardrobe for so many years to come. Well, it's a comparable retail value of just a couple pennies shy of $168. As our today's special value for today and today only, you're bringing these home for $129.98, free shipping and handling, and the price does go away at the end of the day. It is brand new today and it's exclusive to us here at QVC through mid-April. And come mid-April, you will already be wearing these on your feet. Yes. Um, let's dive into a size chart first and foremost so people can make their choice, and then we're going to go into all these gorgeous details. That sounds really good. I mean, this is very much true to size Cora is. Um, we're going to pull up our size chart in just a second. But, oh, here it is. It's up. I'm sorry. Um, it's our U.S. You go down the left-hand side to find your U.S. Um, size, and then you go to the right of the chart, you'll find your European size. Uh, because we offer this exclusively in wides here at QVC, what I would recommend um, is that if you, um, where we have overlap in the 9 and the 9.5, just go with the length of your foot. If you're on the shorter side, go with the 39, a little longer, 40, same with the 9. So I, just FYI, I always wear like an eight and a half here. So in Ms. Moose, I am a 39 across the board. I have never right. had an issue. Have right. always fit me like a glove. And speaking like fitting like a glove, this glove like leather. It's amazing. Ugh. I mean, I actually, I was really excited because the one of the staple pieces of this design for this spring, this was like embody spring to me, this shoe, the Cora does, because we've done this gorgeous um, embossed leather. This is the first time we've done this in a way, it's this design stunning. where it almost looks floral. Uh, Florida Lee, let's call it. Right. Um, and if you get really up close on it, I actually bought, our designers gave me a piece of raw leather <gasps> that I wanted to bring. I know, how fun is this? Never seen this. I know. So this is going to really let you have a sense of like, it's like fabric. It moves like fabric. Feel that. This is a moment for me because you Isn't know it was like the leather, the leather, the leather. The and now leather. to see it done like this, it does feel like fabric. And it allows you to see up close just how, like, do you see how in the background the, the embossing goes all the way through, almost like it's tool in the background. Right. It's so fine. This is that artisan detail. This is that beautiful quality that you're getting um, in the main shaft of this sandal. That's this is insane. where it's ruched and it's beautiful and this is signature to the brand. It speaks of that fluidity, that softness, that fabric-like feel that mm -hmm. you get um, with a piece of Ms. Moo's leather. Now this is a new design, right? This floral yes, design, this almost like stamped, new. embossed, it's brand new. Yeah. Again, she just touched on the fact that we have medium and wide widths only and QVC is the only place that you could find those wide widths. So we're so lucky that you bring yes. that into us. Yes. So let's dive into some details because this is the best part about Ms. Moose. It's like I every know. angle, you it's find something. something new and something right. that just really speaks to the DNA. Just 
of Ms. Moose. Absolutely. Just when you're looking at Cora, you're seeing that it's really truly a hybrid sandal. So you've got a little sandal, you've got a little bit of shoe, almost mm -hmm. like boot like mixed with it, which really makes this truly a transitional shoe. Smooth leather kind of pebbled across the toe. Moving up the shaft of the shoe, you have that ruched leather that has the embossed detail, which is really beautiful. We'll never um, conflict with a print you might be wearing. It's subtle enough that it plays right. more as texture and dimension in the leather. Burnishing details. The burnishing is that hand burnishing that really brings out those <sighs> highs and lows. That's, That's what we want. We want to see that in a beautiful leather piece. Right. We want to see those highs and lows. Um, we did do along the collar here that little fine piece you of wire. You know, that's my favorite part. I know, Julia loves this. Every time. This is that customizability of the yes. shoe. Everybody's foot is a little bit different. No two people are exactly the same. So when you put the shoe on, you can really play with it so that the feel feels just right for you. But then you have buckle adjustability on the side, that pretty silver hammered buckle. Um, get it to where you want it, set it, and don't have to play with it anymore. It's got goring on there, mm -hmm. so think give as you're walking around. To get in and out, you're going to use your floor to ceiling zipper in the back. It opens right up for you, backed by leather as well, so it feels great up against your skin. And then something I want to point out, behind your front piece of leather here, the strap for the buckle is actually independent of that piece of leather. So that's when we talk about flexibility with wear, that movement that you get of the strap really kind of gives you that extra give and move as you're walking. So these are the details. These are not just the pretty details, these are the functional details that Ms. Moose really thinks about. And that's why Ms. Moose always right out the gate. Right. right out the gate, feels like you've worn them for years. Feels exactly. like it's molded to your foot. Um, can I take everyone through colors again? Because they're just so pretty. So we have it here with us in the color that's called Brandy, always a classic color. Yes. An easy one. And then I have colors behind me. So come on with me over here. We have it in the black, which is what I've been wearing. 1600 remain, or sold for the day or remain for the day? Remain for the day. So if you love the black, this is what I've been wearing. And you know what? This really just goes to show how easy these are to style because I'm wearing them with joggers. Right. And they're still like cute. They work. It they works. do work. Yep. But you could wear this with, you know, any sort of palazzo pant, any of these colors, really. Palazzo pants, dresses, and beyond. New color, brick. brick. Brand new color, brick. Now, this Look is like that. your chameleon. This is a little red, a little orange, a little brown mixed in. It plays beautifully, very earthy, very dusty. Oh, it's pretty. I am so in love with the linen. I know. I've always I've been saying it all day. I'm like, don't sleep on the linen. It's the first to go always. Such a great color because it's not optic white. Mm -hmm. um, it almost gives a little putty, a little bone. Oh, I just love it. Sorry, I had to just stare at it a little bit closer. 1600 remain in the linen. Then we have it in the river. This is always a classic color within yeah, the Miss Moose collection. Yeah, we did the river remain. last year. Yeah, and it has been such a great fashion blue because it's very denim friendly. Mm -hmm. And I was saying this earlier, you don't need to match it back to the color wash you're wearing with denim. It right. plays with all the different tones. And then another new color. This is aloe. Talk to me about aloe because only 1100 remain. How pretty, how fresh, how springtime. Think like your celery tones, right. grass, like it's beautiful. And I've been saying this for years with accessories that a, a green is a very, very easy color to wear as a pop, but also to blend easily. Most apparel will go with a green accessory. And might really be nice, cool. like, but not a lot of us probably have a green shoe. Right, show. change it like, up, get, try something different. Try something a little different, add a little new pop of color, but then all the colors are kind of rooted in nature and in like this earthiness. Yes. Yes. It's not like a neon green on your foot, which there is exactly. no problem wearing neon green yeah. on your feet. Have I enjoy it. that too. But if you want that earthy sort of ethereal right. feel, any of these colors are going to speak to that kind of style. You get a little boho, you can make this western, you can make it edgy, you can just wear yes. it with your jeans and t-shirt. You're exactly right. This is what elevates an outfit. This is that sandal that's going to do that. Yeah. Um, we understand that it's a great investment piece. This is a great piece of leather. However, this is going to take you, you've got a springtime transitional shoe. It carries you into the summer months because this is going to work with your shorts and your sundresses. Oh, yes. But then it's going to carry you into fall as well. As yep. we're transitioning back into the cooler months, you've still got this great leather coverage. You've got the heel coverage um, and also the heel height on this. This is a construction that is beloved. Mm -hmm. um, it's angled, almost gives a little kind of like a Western boot, a very feminine, very pretty on the foot. Um, gives the look of a stacked heel. It's only one and three eighths inch of a heel, so it's that perfect heel height. It's not too much, it's not too little. It's just really elevating and pretty. Texturized outsole. 
Um, I always like to point out, like, don't think somebody wore your shoes before you. They did not. <laughs> it's just meant to kind of look vintage and worn in. It's and kind of like a wood grain look. Yeah, exactly. They built that in and they gave you rubber on the heel. So that's that added bit of just protection. You know, as you're walking, you've got that great surface. And do we even talk about the comfort of the footbed? You know, the padded footbed. It's bed. so comfortable. Another great? signature. I mean, that really, again, speaks to the DNA of Ms. Moose. Yes, I mean, the craftsmanship is unparalleled. The look is de definitely like a Ms. Moose look, yes. but the whole reason that Ms. Moose came to fruition was for comfort. Right, and that's what you're getting. You're getting that padded footbed. You're getting um, that traction, that rubberized outsole. So that gives you that out of the box wear. Right. This isn't a stiff wooden base. That's something that you're sort of like, oh, I'm going to have to really break this in. You've got the soft leather on top that is not structured. So it's not something that you're going to have to break and move. It's just ready to right. roll because it is so soft and so movable. Just the, the leather on this is astounding. And I always say that I have the most sensitive skin and feet in the world. Yeah. And if I like, take two steps in a shoe that doesn't fit right or is too stiff, I'm like a blistery mess. Like right out the gate and then I'm mad and then I throw the shoes away and I never I throw them in the closet. I never wear them again because now right. I've been offended. Right. <laughs> You're like, I don't want to do that again. I'm not going to do that again. Why, like, yeah, why do I have to put in all this time and work to break in a shoe that I've already spent my money on? Agreed. But because of this gorgeous leather, I love showing that um, that fabric-like leather of Ms. Moose, but because you get that like buttery, glove-like, soft leather. Yes. Uh, you never have anything that is like digging into you. It moves with I you. Know. It customizes to your foot. Absolutely. And fine leathers too, with especially the leathers with Ms. Moose, I've always found they get softer over time. Mm -hmm. um, that's the beauty of leather. It's why we keep leather goods, whether it be a bomber jacket from 20 years ago yes. or a great leather chair. You hold on to these items because they get better with age, get better with time. So it truly is a great investment to have a really good leather shoe. And they last forever. I wonder if my mom's washing. Mom? I was going to say, I know your mom's a huge Yes, my Ms. Moose mom. Am I going to get, am I, what time is it in California? Yeah. Ah, she's up. It might be I morning wonder. coffee. It might be a morning coffee moment. I wonder if she's picking these up and they do look like a shoe that my mother would absolutely love. Um, but it's a shoe that I love because they're like multi-generational in his Moose shoe exactly. as well. Exactly. You're exactly right on that. You know, I have two girls in college. They raid my Ms. Moose collection. I, I don't turn my back too much on them. Um, but I love them. My sister loves them. My mother loves them. It is truly cross-generational. Yeah. Um, because I think they've styled them where they're pretty timeless and classic. Mm -hmm. They give you very unique um, craftsman st uh, style, artisan style shoes. Like they're right. almost, you get brand recognition when you look at a Ms. Moose. It's like they're different. Um, they're not like other shoes that you see. Um, however, they're done in such a way that they're not trendy. They're not going to go out of style. Right. They're just going to work. It's just quality, beautiful um, leather shoes. My favorite pair of sneakers are a pair of Ms. Moose sneakers, and somehow, like a child, I have lost one of them. No! Well, guess what? We've what? got some amazing sneakers. We had a couple in our hour shows earlier I'm in the day, and we have some other ones coming this spring, so I'm a f we'll hook you up. I'm a 41-year-old <laughs> woman. I'm losing shoes like a kid. Let me take a <laughs> Like, I cannot I find it. it. I have turned my house upside like, my down. Shoe? Where is my favorite <laughs> sneaker? And I look at pictures of me wearing them on vacation. I just, like, shed a little, little tear. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so we have it here in the brandy color. That really beautiful, really kind of like yeah. vintagey brown. Yeah, saddle brown, gorgeous. It's perfect. Oh, that embossing is so stunning. I know. Oh, so pretty. I'm here for it. Let's go back here. We have it in the black, which of course is what I have been wearing. So comfortable. Then we have it in brick. That's one of the new colors this season. Next to that is the linen. I am really here for this linen. I don't. I don't have any shoe like this. It is uh, one of my favorite colors because you can really, I mean, I still love linen with a white jean. Yeah. It looks really beautiful. It kind of can play kind of beige-ish, mm -hmm. um, but it also has like a bone vanilla. Yes. It's pretty. Come spring and summer, my favorite, like, ensemble is like a column of whites and creams yes of all different shades throwing some tan in there that's like my favorite look this would just work seamlessly agreed. into that right agreed as I think with barefoot the dream oh, like yes dreamy. yes I'm exactly there. all right so the linen has been extremely popular then and now fewer than 1500 remain and that's for the day this is our noon show there are many more show, many more hours in this day to go <laughs> right so you got to pick this one up before we go before it's gone this is the river 
And then also new, tell me again a little bit about this aloe. Aloe is a great green. Like we've done some greens in the past. Aloe plays right into that fresh sort of, I keep saying celery, because that's 